How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now we've been reading the comments recently and it seems that one or two of you guys are getting a bit bored of the customer work that we're doing. So we're obviously making the big investment, we're getting the unit to try and grow the YouTube channel more. We were left a bit low on cash and we had to do some customer work just to get the cash flow going again. But thanks to one of our awesome subscribers and an amazing deal, we've managed to secure this 2011 Hyundai i10. Now we've not had a chance to properly look over this car yet and it is a little bit dirty. I literally just picked it up with a tow bar and uh, James for Oracle, so massive shout out to James. I'll leave a link to Oracle in the description if you want to go check him out, have a nosy. Real nice guy, but massive thanks again to James. This car's obviously got one major issue, but we'll get onto that later. I've not really had a good look at the bodywork yet, but let's have a look on the inside and see what the little Hyundai's like. Um, I literally sat in here for 15, 20 minutes while we towed it back. But on first impressions, it's really quite clean and it's an all black on black interior, which is awesome. So it's got 82,450 miles, which is ideal. CD player, MP3. Um, it's not got Bluetooth by the looks of it. Well, that's all right, we can fit a wee Bluetooth thing. It's got air conditioning, iPod, AirPod, auxiliary connections here. There's no tears in the gator, the steering wheel's nice. There's no wearing on the bolsters of the seats. No rips or tears, it's really clean in here, Charlie. And it's a five door one, which will be great for young families. Eh? Pretty clean in the back, needs a wee hoover, but it's all good. What's the boot? You ever been in the boot of an i10? No, it looks tiny. I don't know what the boot space is like. Oh, it's not bad. No, it's not too bad. Oh, what's that? Is, this, that, is, that, a little, is that a little tease? This might give you a clue as to, <laughs> as to what's wrong with this car. But the boot space is pretty good and it's nice and clean. And underneath, I was under here looking for the towing eye. There is like, let me lift this out. What I thought was pretty cool was there like little compartments and stuff. A little under tree. Underneath there, and then underneath the plastic is where your spare wheel and everything lives. I'm really liking the Hyundai range, really on. Normally in Scotland, well, we'll go on to that when we've gave it a bit of a clean up. Um, I think I'll get the towing eye out just now. Oh. Got some microfibers. Do you know what, Charlie? I think other than there's a wee bit of marking on the seat. I'm sure they'll machine polish, right? Machine polish your seats? No. Uh, Drill brush. brush. Yeah. But yeah, this wee thing clean on the inside. It's actually really clean. This isn't going to take long to clean up at all. So, what's it like under the bonnet? Have you been under the bonnet yet? Not yet. Let's have a wee look. It's fairly honest looking. It's not been overly cleaned. There's not even any surface rust really on the inner wings and inner arches. It's just really clean. It's got oil, which is a good sign. <laughs> it's always good when they've got oil. You ask a battery, so it's got a good quality battery on it. No so keen on this though. I've seen this on a few sort of Japanese cars and things like that. The battery posts don't quite fit the terminals, so it's got the old Phillips screw in there. We might have to have a look at doing a proper fix on that. So far, so good. This wee car's looking good. 
Look, why is there a pool in the end? We'll get on to that shortly. After we get a clean. Let's give it a clean. Give it a good bodywork inspection. So far, all I've seen is this wee mark on the bumper here. I, d I didn't even notice that. No, it, I only noticed it because I'm picky as anything, but that is the only thing I've seen so far. But guys, until you get a car a decent clean, you get up close, you're rubbing it, looking at it really closely, you don't see everything. So let's get it cleaned and then we'll go around and inspect the body one. So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been Guys, look how amazing this little car cleaned up. There's not a dent on it, there's no massive scrapes. Yes, there's a couple of little chips. Right, there's a little chip there, a couple of little chips on the bumper, some tar spots, but there's no major damage. The worst bit is that scuff there, which you can hardly see. I might just try and blow that in a wee bit with a rattle can. I'll do a chop special, I'll phone him for some tips and see how he does his rattle cans, because I've never really rattle canned anything before, so... I'll have a wee chat with James. But when the tar comes off of this, and we give this a polish, like this bit here, this wee bit will come off. Just a wee bit of touch-up paint. It's actually really, really straight, and really, really clean. And this bit here, look. Wee tiny scuff there. But none of that warrants painting. I think a good touch-up will do that just fine. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this little car looks. But, like I said, this little car has got one major issue, and we'll get on to that now. Right, this is the biggest problem with this car. Charlie, go and start it. You ready? You might need to accelerate a wee bit. Make sure it's out of gear though, don't squash me. Right, this has been running for literally 10 seconds now. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, we rev. Right, turn it off. The head gasket is well and truly gone in this car. So yeah, the Hyundai is going to need a complete engine rebuild. But I haven't told Charlie yet. He's doing it on his own. What? You're doing it on your own. I'm going to help you take the front end <laughs> off. I'm going to help you take the engine out. And then we're going to either do it on the bench or we'll do it on a tyre. Because I've not got an engine stand. But you are going to be stripping and rebuilding this engine yourself. And then once we've got it finished a few weeks later, Dad will be rebuilding it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll I'm help sure. you. I will be guiding you through I'm it. I'm sure I'll be alright. I've good learning experience. Yeah, I'll be and guiding uh, you through it. I'll be there beside you. But it's not a too complicated engine, so I'm sure I'll get it done. And it's a timing chain. You've not done a timing chain before. Yeah. So yeah, it should be really, really good experience for you. I'll be there just to keep you right and help you along. But you'll be getting your hands dirty on this one. And he's going to be doing the rebuild all by himself. Unless he needs me to hold something for him. And then I'll do that. I'll oh. hold the torch. <laughs> and I'll you hold can, the camera. You can take my role for once. <laughs> yeah. And you can get stuck into this. Alright. But yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to it. So, the, the little car is MOT'd until November. So it's all good. But when we put it up for sale, I'll probably put a 12 month MOT on it. It'll obviously get a machine polish. I might even get a little wax coating engine rebuild and this little car will be good to go so as you can see time's getting on we've done a load of painting as well so the whole front of the garage has been repainted 
We've got a few wee bits left to go. We've got a side up. We need to get a post box so that you guys can start sending us your stickers because we are going to start putting stickers on the electricity board soon. We've actually got some stickers to put on there. We've got some Adam LZ stickers. We'll put one of yours on there. But like we said, guys, I'll leave uh, an address in the description below. If you guys have got a channel or an Instagram account or anything, if you want to send us a sticker, a slap sticker to put on the electricity box, we'll give you a shout out. We'll put it on the box and uh, yeah. We'll leave a link to your channel or your Instagram in the description. Scared you're starting to look sick. It's starting to get there. I'm starting to like it even more. But anyway, we need to go home and edit this because it is actually Sunday. It is about five o'clock now, maybe just after five. Time is it? I don't know, my phone. Another broken phone. It's, half five. it's 20 past five. I need to get home, get this edited so you guys can watch it at eight o'clock tonight. So, Charlie? Yeah. Like, comment, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.